Hey, I'm Cynthia Ye. I'm here with Steve Voice Music. My relationship with Dragonfly Percussion actually started in 2001 when Dinesh and I were at um, NRO together. So throughout the years, we've kept our friendship. And at some point, I said to him, you know, there's something missing in the line of bass drum beaters out there on the market. And he immediately came to my help and we started the idea of, well, what will work for me? It was maybe at least a whole year of back and forth of trying things, me describing what I wanted, not being able to describe what I want. This is too soft, this is too heavy, this is too harsh, this is too this and that and the other thing. And the challenge we came across was partly because I could not actually articulate what it is I wanted in words, but I knew the sound I wanted in my ear. So back and forth we went with, you know, depending on the weight of the mallet, the, the wrap on the mallet, the poofiness, the attack, the no attack, the hardness, the softness, and also the comfort of them was a really fun but yet challenging project for Dinesh and I. And I am so proud of the work he has done because he did not quit on me and I could not be happier with the product that we ended up as my signature line. Let's talk about the general mallets in my line. Um, they're basically heavier versions and lighter versions. The heavy versions is basically for more of the single notes or notes that are slow enough for you to you know, play without getting tired. And the, the idea behind all of that is that you don't have to do a lot of work. The weight of the mallet and the way it's also a little quite top heavy is that just a simple Laying into the head will give you a beautiful, hopefully very boomy, bass-friendly sound. Let's talk about the medium urethane, which is a mallet that I would go to for fast, articulate things. It is very punchy, but it's not harsh. It has good weight to it too, but the shaft is light because it's hollow, unlike the solid, heavy ones. So all of my mallets are made out of aluminum shafts, um, both solid and hollow aluminum. I kind of chose that because I was pretty specific about the diameter of the shafts because I don't have big hands and I didn't want anything bulky like the two inch able issue pipe, steel pipe mallet. Um, and also Dinesh happens to have an aluminum guy versus a wood dowel turner guy. So it seemed like simpler to just go with that. And then he was the one that came up with the idea when I wanted more weight about, well, let's just go to solid aluminum. It's easy, it's easy to make pretty which aesthetics is a big thing. And then we put the grip on it because I have small and bony hands. So I was noticing that, wow, sometimes I would literally bruise my bone with, if there was no padding on the shaft. It's both for comfort and also it's comforting for me to grip on it and hook my pinky at the end of the mallet to know that I'm kind of in the exact same spot I wanna be. So this is the fuzz bucket and he got his name because this is the original fuzz bucket. Um, I wanted something suit that, that has really good front weight that's shorter on the shaft so that it's just really easy to control for a no attack, that Verdi, end of a Verdi note with the pizzas or in Mahler symphonies when there's just nothing but you and the double basses doing a pits in unison. So Nash came up with this and it was just like, I need more rap, I need more rap, I need less attack. And he eventually came up with this and I loved it. Well, we had to cut down the shaft a bit because I said I wanted it shorter. And um, then he calls me and says, well, Cynthia, the problem is Fuzz Bucket makes a mess when he goes to cut the fabric. So he asked if he could switch it to this wrap so that it's not creating fuzz and like snowflakes in his basement. So that's how we came about, um, the fuzz bucket came about. Let's talk about my Mahler 3s, which I think every student will own in their stick bag. They're actually super, super versatile because in a pinch you actually have two different pairs of mallets with you. So it's not just for Mahler 3s. Um, because it is on like a very thin, flat wheel of some sort, the articulate side is also really fast moving. So it's not just that you have to use them as a pair. Um, if you're in a pinch and you need it for, let's say even the end of Chike 4, they work great for that because there's actually, it's pretty top heavy as well. And you choke back a little more on the stick for that. 
But of course, if I do have time, I drop my Mahler 3s and I pick up my rollers. The rollers are great because the grip is totally adjustable. So if you're a traditional grip base drum roller person like me, I adjust the foam grip on the left-hand mallet. You can make them comfortable to wherever your hands need to be when you roll. Now, I am one who absolutely believes that the bass drum sound, general sound, whether it's a roll or a single note, from pianissimo to fortissimo should have the same timbre as in that same bottom. So even when these guys, and when I'm rolling really quietly, it might not be something you hear, but it would be something that you feel because I'm vibrating the low end, the stage, the chairs, just that bottom in the room. When it gets loud, and that is true of all of my mallets, is that hopefully, no matter how loud you play, you're just going to fill the hall with so much bottom end of that sound with some attack or a lot of attack, but the bottom end cannot be missing. So the Rite of Springs, actually believe it or not, Nation and I went through three iterations of them and it all had to do with weight. Because I really like a top heavy mallet so that it's easier to get the bottom out of the drum, it made some of the playing a little tiring. The first set was too light. The second set, this is totally Goldilocks. Second set was too heavy. And so we compromised with just one washer weight, I believe. So my red spring mallets are different than what else is out there on the market. A, the grip is actually thinner, so it's a lot more comfortable and it's easier on smaller hands. And a lot of thought was put into the weight, ba the balance of the stick to help you play fast but still get deep sounds out of the drum. So it is actually much lighter than other things on the market, but because of the way it's weighted, it does get very full deep bottoms to the bass drum. Well, the chamois mallet, I'm, I'm surprised at how much I use it. So for very punchy but full sounds, I actually, I find myself going to the chamois and it obviously is very, very hall dependent. But to have that point and the front, but with the fullness of the back end, um, it's actually a great, very versatile mallet. I mean, for very short, like there's a few notes I use it in the Firebird. Obviously I use it a lot when, I, when you play Firebird. Um, when you play Rider Spring Complete, the last page, that's all chamois. I'm really proud of the work that Dinesh and I did, or mostly Dinesh did for this line of mallets. And um, I think it's worth checking out. So check them out at steveweissmusic.com.